When you're looking for a good fig, you want to look at the ones that are turning. Look at that big joker, son. That's a fig right there, buddy. Boy, it'd be good we can make that shine. Tastes like a good fig Newton bar. Oh, gosh. But that sell good. You dang right. If there's any truth to it or not, but a lot of the old timers say that white milk come out of there to blind the hell out of you. Really? That's what they say. Well, I ain't gonna try to find out. No, don't rub your eyes. That's what I've always been told. A bird or something eating on that one. Bird. Something. We're continuously trying to do something nobody else is doing. Yeah, tell our competitors, if they're not doing it, and we are, I believe we'll make more money. When they get that good red color in the middle of them, they're ready to go. We've got a lot of figs. Next step, all we gotta do is get in the woods, get them to a bowl, break them down, get them mashed in our barrels, add the sugar and yeast, and see what it turns out to be. Fire in the hole. Wow! No hell, you burnt the hell out of my damn hair. With a fruit mash, we try to pick a lot of fruits with a lot of sugar content, but these figs, they're richer than four foot up a bull. They are super damn sweet, so it don't take as many of them to get the sugar content there and the flavor. All right, it's coming. Yahoo! We've got our figs worked off. We're ready to fire this big boy up and see what these gin batches are gonna do for us today. You about at the bottom? You about there. Huh. Get going. Hey, don't waste our mash now. Well, I'm fixing to waste this damn hornet. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jerry's been slowed down. We've had a lot of hiccups, injuries, setbacks. We're, we're full over here. All right, good deal. That's all we need, then. Our customers have been waiting too long. I've got people knocking at my door. I believe that's got it, old buddy. It's a lot of fire now. We're tickled to death. I cannot wait to fire this rig up. Give me some juice. Fire in the hole. Let her do it, baby. Then we're putting our fig juice in here to put in here to infuse the flavor of the fig mash. And all the steam is going to transfer through this juice. At the end result, we'll have a clear, pure shine with the sweet goodness of fig. That's what these jars are designed to do, is infuse flavors and to get out impurities out of your alcohol. And we're getting more excited as the moments go by. I do too, boy. I can't wait to see this thing go to dancing. I just hope it does like we think it's going to do. I'm nervous about the rig. It's such a massive rig to get to where it's going till its final destination. That can create pressure. Not that damn pipe stopped up. Oh, it's stuck in the dirt. Yep. Little damn dirt. We've got 30 some odd connections in this rig that we've got to babysit and watch over. Feel like it's gonna perform well. We've got to get this fig shine out there and get some money in our pocket. It's gonna do the damn. The fig jig, son. Fig jig. It's coming together, but we ain't made it home yet. <laughs> Bees. <laughs> oh. <laughs> damn hornets. Them <laughs> are after our <laughs> and all this damn sweet fig mash. Hell, if the damn bees like it, I know somebody will. Correct. <laughs> damn. All season long. It seems like I'm taking three steps backwards, you know, every time I try to take one forward. I got something for their ass right here. Get you, son. Uh-huh. Got your ass down. These hornets are coming after me and Jerry left and right. They could possibly put you in the hospital. Once they sting you, it's too damn late. It's like you've run your hand in a yellow jacket nest all at one time. Mike's kind of on a little bit more sissy side. Bees that don't bother me. Open that valve, open that valve. What's wrong? We're lifting. Not wanting to push? Look, it's definitely pushing. Oh, my God. Uh, we got to beat that back down. With our sight being so massive, it's giving us nothing but trouble. Too much pressure on it. There's no turning your back on this rig, never. Just a lot of pressure going on in these gin baskets. It's lifting again. A bunch of pressure. It's trying to lift our cap. We're going to try to strap it down to keep it from doing so. The pressure inside this pot is what keeps kind of pushing everything forward. So what we got to do is we've got to seal this thing up so that we can contain all that pressure. Keeps a continuous push to the end of the run. I'm nervous, son. Uh, try to repaste it or do the best we can. There's a lot of pressure under there. That's going to burn. There. There we go. Oh! Get back. Cut it off. Oh, my God. Mm. We're creating a little bit too much down pressure with all these jars we've got and uh, 
and it's popping the cap, we'll get more weight on it. You know, if you're constantly having to fix the cap, losing all this stain, number one, you're losing alcohol. Number two, if that stain gets down to the fire, it's gonna be a catastrophic explosion. Let's get some lanterns hung so we can see what the heck we're doing. I'm at my damn wits end, man. I know you are, man. It's been a long damn haul. We've got to get something to hold this cap down. We've got to get some rocks that'll hold up. We're in the middle of no damn where. We just can't run to the store to pick something up, fix something. We've got to do everything right here and right now with what we've got to work with. Did you happen to think and grab any other sandbags? If we had those, we could actually fill, fill them up as full as we could get them with the two of them. That'd be a lot of damn weight up there. You know, thankfully, we've got some sandbags here we can fill up and put on top of the cap and strap this thing down, and that's all we've got to use. And we'll see. Maybe taking liquid out of some of these jars will help. You know, the thing about this jar system here is it builds up a lot of back pressure, and back pressure is kind of a, our worst enemy on this kind of situation. Because the steam comes out of the system, comes down through this pipe right here, it's having to push into this liquid in order to bubble over. But by taking this liquid out, it won't have to push against nothing. It can just bypass right on through the jar. We've got to fix this. If that cap blows off again, it could kill our whole run and potentially kill our whole season. Right Let's up. fire it back up one more damn time. Fire and hold. Let me do it. Don't let me down now. We're getting there. We'll be in good shape if we don't have another failure. Mike and I have got this thing packed straight back together. We got our weight put back on. We got her fired back up and got her running, and she's starting to percolate a little bit for us. But you know, in the back of our minds, we can't help but think, you know, what's next? I don't care how long it takes for it to run. Yeah. As long as we get good goodness at the end of the worm, I'm happy. I'm just hoping and praying I can get through this run and get what alcohol I can get to get something sold. Look at here. It's about full. There it is. There we go, baby. Woo! Yeah. Jerry, throw these heads out, Bo. Hold them down. Yeah! Woo! -hoo. I don't know whether to hump up and cry over all this or just do a damn jig. I'm so happy there's liquor coming out of this worm. What do you think? Oh, man, that is super smooth. And that flavor is right there on the top, son. Damn, son, you can taste the figs in it. It tastes good. The flavor profile of these figs come out really well and it's still got just a little bit of that burn, I'm pretty confident that we can get this stuff sold. Let's go get some jugs jarred up and get this sold.